Here we go. Hi, we are here with Sister Claire Fitzgerald, and she just presented to the NCEA morning seminar. Um, if you could just summarize in a few sentences, Sister Claire, what you just spoke on. What I tried to do was to focus on the season of Easter, which we are in. And what I particularly wanted to talk about, this is an unavoidable moment in Catholic education. We are between the old and the new. We're between a Baroque church that is passing and a Vatican II church, which hasn't even really begun to come to life. But we're in that unavoidable moment, and it has its challenges, its pains, its promises, but it also is a time that's impregnated with a lot of possibilities and new creation and new ideas and a new rebuilding of Catholic education in the 21st century. So I asked, particularly, the Easter questions with a challenging, who will roll back the stone? Why do you seek the living among the dead? You know, why are you weeping? What are you talking about as you travel? And then I wanted to then say, what is it that's on the minds as we travel? So I used the apostles on the road to Emmaus. That question was asked to them by Jesus who joined them. So we discussed things that were changing realities in our Catholic schools times when we always had Catholics and now we have mixed religions here, mixed ethnic groups. We also have grave concerns about enrollments. We have financial constraints. We have new government models that we're trying to deal with. Uh, so we have a whole new question that is now coming to our Catholic educators. But one of the things I was trying to stress is that above all in Catholic schools, we must first of all have the magnet of academic excellence. And then we have the students encounter God in their lives. And we, then we tell our story. So it's an Easter story, it's an Ascension story, it's a Pentecostal story. And this Easter season makes us look upon the great mysteries of our faith. Our students, besides academics, must then be told the story that our journey on this world is nothing but a journey home to God. And we talked a little bit about a culture that has taken away God. And as Mary Magdalene said, they've taken my God away, where have they laid him? What is happening to God and religion in our culture? What is happening to our students? Are they being called to holiness? Are they aware that God is everywhere in their lives. Uh, they also know that resurrection is a time to realize that they too will rise again one day, that they will never die. The ascension is promising them a place that God's prepared for them. So our God's waiting for us. We're gonna live for forever. And that makes me emphasize the eternal significance of our education, life everlasting. That is part of our story that every student must realize and love. And then we ended with really looking at two photos on the screen. One was two disciples, not to Emmaus, but this is going to the tomb, full of hope. That's Peter and John. And then our closing scene was the Pieta, but just a little bit different. Usually Michelangelo's Pieta has Mary holding her dead son in her arms. This is done by a Mexican architect. It's really done at wood carving, but instead of Mary holding the body of Jesus, the dead body, it's the father. And the father's holding his son saying, I never abandoned you. I was always there and mission has been accomplished. And we left with that idea that our God, our father, is always with us, even in the crisis times we may be going through, and that we'll weather the storms because he will be with us forever.